everyone, welcome to Be My Cook. Since it's apple season, I wanted to show you how to make Easy Apple Walnut Crisp, my family's version of this easy dessert. So let's get into the video. Okay, so let's begin our recipe for Easy Apple Walnut Crisp. The first thing you're gonna need is some apples. And I have four rather large Granny Smith apples. And we're gonna peel these apples and put them right here in this bowl. So the next thing you're gonna need is half a lemon. And since I've cut all of my apples, I went ahead and squirted some lemon juice on my apples so they don't turn brown. Now we're gonna slice these up. Make sure that you taste your apples before you put your lemon juice on because you wanna see if they're still sweet or they're tangy. That way you can adjust your sugar. Just because it's a green Granny Smith apple doesn't mean that it's going to be of the tangy variety. The longer they sit, they do add some sweetness to themselves. So we're just gonna use some slices about like that. Now remember, they're gonna cook down. So it's gonna look like you have a lot of apples. In the meantime, go ahead and spray your 11 by seven casserole dish. That's what we're gonna use today for our apple crisp. I'm gonna to continue to cut these apples in slices and I'll show you the next step. So all of our apple slices are done, they're in the bowl. I'm gonna take some brown sugar and since my apples are not too tangy, I'm gonna go ahead and add three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar. Now this has a topping as well, so we don't wanna to add too much sugar. Now we're gonna add a little bit of flour so that our apples don't make too much juice. We're gonna add about a heaping tablespoon of flour and we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna set this aside and we're gonna start on our topping. We are ready to make the topping. Now make sure that your pan is sprayed with some cooking spray and set your oven to 350 degrees. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a cup of quick oats or old fashioned oats, whatever you would like. We're also going to take a quarter teaspoon of some salt, a heaping half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla, quarter cup of flour, a quarter cup of brown sugar. Now, because we're using walnuts in this topping. I have a third cup of walnuts here and I'm going to chop those. Just a rough chop. They don't have to be too fine. If you don't like the nuts, you don't have to put them in. You can also use pecans. Now we're going to add those to the topping and a third cup of butter. Now I've just chopped it into these little pieces and it is cold. Now we're gonna stir this around and we're gonna make like a streusel for the top. And this is what everybody loves in apple crisp. It's always the topping. Make sure that you make enough. This will make plenty for that 11 by seven casserole dish. And I'm gonna just start to smash the butter into the rest of the mixture. And eventually we'll probably have to use our hands and get in there and squish some of this. All right, we have all the ingredients together, so let's put it in our pan. Now our apples have been sitting here, as you can see that they're, they've let off a little bit of juice, which is fine. My oven is now done, so we can get this in. Now, if you have an excessive amount of juice, don't put it in because it's just gonna bubble over. But that's why we put the flour in there. Some apples are quite juicy. Now you can use Macintosh. I'm using Granny Smith because I like those. Don't try to make this with Red Delicious. It's not gonna work. Now we have plenty of apples in here. I just wanna make sure that every area is covered 
with apple and it looks pretty good. I don't think it's going to bubble over on me. Just in case, that's why I have it on this tray. So now we're going to put our topping on. And this is what it looks like. I did get in there with my fingers and smash it up a little bit. And we're just going to put that on all over. I know how good this tastes. My mouth is watering already. And this is one of my husband's favorite desserts. It's so simple, so easy. And it's an old fashioned recipe, especially for apple season. I bet your mom or your grandma used to make this. So I think a lot of you already know what this is going to taste like. Now we're going to get it into the 350 degree oven. We're going to cook it for 30 to 40 minutes. Just make sure that you have a fork and you pierce your apples to see if they're tender and done. So our apple crisp is now out of the oven and we're just going to let it cool to room temperature. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to serve this. Let's take some of this apple crisp put it on our plate. Now this is always best scooped out with a spoon. Try to get it on the plate. Now this is a pretty generous serving here because it's me and I have to have something else on top of my apple crisp. Now you can use ice cream or whipped topping like I have here. I'm just going to put it on the top. This is fresh homemade whipped topping. And just to make it look pretty, I have some mint here I'm gonna put on the top. And here is our easy apple walnut crisp. And it is truly delicious. So if you'd like to see more recipes, subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.